So I thought I'd take a quick look at dative covalent or coordinate bonding, you can call it. So I'll just go through what's on the board here and hopefully that will be helpful for you. So we've got an ammonia molecule here, um, dot and cross diagram, and you can see we've got three covalent bonds between the nitrogen and the hydrogen. So that's a shared pair of electrons where each atom is providing an electron in the shared pair. So ammonia there. And we've got a hydrogen ion down here. So that's literally just hydrogen with no electrons. It's lost its only outer electron um, to only electron actually. Uh, and that gives it a positive charge. So how do these two bond together to form the ammonium ion? So we've got the dot and cross diagram there. So this part here is exactly the same as we had in ammonia, but this shared pair of electrons here between uh, the nitrogen and this hydrogen here, you can see both of the electrons have come from the nitrogen. It's still a covalent bond, but both of the electrons in the shared pair have come from the nitrogen. So this is this new type of covalent bond, the date of covalent or coordinate bond. So there's a the definition for it. Shared pair of electrons where both electrons come from the same atom. And if you were to draw a displayed formula for an ammonium ion, you would have a tetrahedral uh, shape. So you'd have the nitrogen in the middle. You've got two bonds in the plane. So that's the straight line. And you'll notice the date of covalent bond, a coordinate bond, is represented by an arrow. And the direction of the arrow is shown where the electrons are coming from. So they're coming from the nitrogen, they're going to the hydrogen. So the arrow points that way. And obviously this hydrogen here is the one that's coming out of the plane. And the one this, that's represented like that is going behind the plane. Hope that was helpful. See ya.